Alright, today we're going to be talking about how a rice cooker works and the very, very simple mechanism that makes it know when the rice is cooked without any complex electronics or anything. To get started, how do we know when rice is cooked? Well, rice is cooked when it absorbs enough water and it has that nice soft texture to it, we all know. That happens when it absorbs just enough water. Now, if you start with the correct amount of water, then when you cook the rice, when all of that water is evaporated, then that rice will be ready. So as long as you put the right amount of water in, once all that water has evaporated, then you know the rice is ready. So how does the rice cooker know when the rice is ready? It comes down to a very simple process in physics. We can keep adding energy to water, but the temperature of the water, as long as we're at or about sea level, the temperature of the water, it'll never get above 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit because that's the temperature that water boils. So no matter how much energy we keep adding to the water, it's not going to increase the temperature of the water itself. The same concept can be understood with ice. I can start heating ice up and the ice will melt. But the temperature of the solid ice will never go above zero degrees Celsius because that's what defines it as ice. It has to go under a phase change to be able to go to liquid water. And that only happens at atmospheric pressure at above zero degrees Celsius. The same thing happens with liquid water. It's only going to start boiling when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. So that liquid inside is never going to exceed 100 degrees Celsius. And that's the trick. If we put the right amount of water in and then start heating it, and we measure the temperature inside the rice cooker, we're going to know exactly when that rice is cooked because we're going to know exactly when all the water disappears because we know the temperature. So if this rice is sitting here cooking away and we're measuring the temperature of that mixture, that water and rice, it's going to stay below 100 degrees Celsius. All of that energy goes into turning the water into steam. The water is also being absorbed by the rice. So at a certain point, as long as we put the right amount of water in, the temperature is going to hover around 100 degrees, not above it. However, if we're monitoring the temperature and we find that it does go above 100 degrees Celsius, that tells us one thing. All the water has evaporated and now the more heat you put in, the hotter it's going to get because there's no more liquid water in here and hence the rice is cooked. Now comes the fun bit. How does the rice cooker know the temperature? Well, you might think there's a temperature sensor in there and some circuitry to know. No, it's super, super simple. And it relies on a very, very special concept in physics called the Curie point. The Curie point of a metal is the temperature that you have to reach in that metal for it to stop being magnetic. So I have a demonstration here which can show us this concept of the Curie. So here I have a magnet, strong magnet, and I've placed a bit of wire here. So you can see it's now hovering in place the magnet is pulling the wire in. Now watch what happens when I hit it with a little bit of heat. Starts glowing and then bang, it drops off. And then once it's cooled down, it's back. So I have this 
light here. And as you can see, it turns on and off. But now I'm going to interrupt the circuit with the batteries. I've put some wire in between. Okay, so we can see now that the circuit is complete. The light is on. This is just like the rice inside the cooker. Now watch what happens when I heat that wire up and it drops. Heat it up, bang, drops off and stops the circuit. You can see that the minute that this wire drops off, because it's no longer magnetic and held, held up by here, it's gonna break the circuit and the light's gonna turn off and you can see that. Here's the wire. The exact same thing is happening in this pressure cooker when there's water and rice inside. First, it's going to start heating up the water, reaching about that 100 degrees, cooking the rice, and then that water is going to evaporate and the temperature inside here is going to rise. Now, the designers have carefully chosen a metal that has a curie point slightly above 100 degrees. And that is like the switch we made before. So below 100 degrees, it keeps heat pumping through. It keeps power going through into the main burner, heating it. When it reaches above 100 degrees, because the water has evaporated, then that switch gets hot. And once it reaches above the Curie point, which is above 100 degrees, it opens, stops the heater, the main heater. It goes back to the warm cycle, but it keeps the main heater off. And so in that way, it's a very, very simple mechanism and it knows exactly when it's reached higher than that temperature. Now, most rice cookers work to about 5,000 feet altitude. Why? Because the higher above sea level we go, the lower the atmosphere and all of what i told you before starts to break down because water does boil at a lower temperature the higher up we go so in that case all the water may start to evaporate before it's reached substantial heat so in that case we need pressure compensated devices which compensate for that difference of pressure so the meal can still be cooked. But that very simple physics allows us to know exactly when the rice is cooked because we know exactly when the water has evaporated. Rice cookers can be used to cook other foods as well because a lot of foods do get ready in that same process. But it's important to note that we have to use this, the right amount of water. If we put too much water in, then the rice will likely become too soggy. If we put too little water in, then we don't have enough water for all the rice to cook. So it will trigger and the temperature will go up because all the water is being used up, but it's not enough water to actually hit, uh, cook all the rice properly. And in this case, we've reached temperature so it's told us the rice is ready.